Hayden's back, but where did he go? I, stranger on the internet, will tell you. But first, here's some background. Hayden Christensen's career started at the age of 13, and at 19, the young Canadian actor was cast as everybody's favourite sand-dwelling sand-hater, Anakin Skywalker. I don't like sand. Before this, his acting experience was mostly limited to TV roles, including, ironically, appearing in a series called Higher Ground. It's over, Anakin! By the way, help me get the algorithm high ground by hitting that like button thanks. In 2001, he earned a Golden Globe nomination for his role in Life as a House, where he played a misunderstood fuse on sand unknown teenager. It's coarse. But it wasn't until a year later when Attack of the Clones came out that he really became a household name. Although in some houses it was for the wrong reasons, as like Jake Lloyd before him, his big Star Wars break broke his career in the wrong way. On the whole, critics weren't kind, slaughtering his performance like it were a family of innocent Tusken Raiders. He even won the Razzie Award for Worst Supporting Actor following the release of Revenge of the Sith in 2005. Hayden Christensen. However, in between his two Star Wars movies, Christensen received positive reviews for portraying journalist Stephen Glass in 2003's Shattered Glass. But between 2006 and the Obi-Wan Kenobi series in 2022, Hayden picked up just 16 IMDb credits, partly self-inflicted due to taking a number of extended breaks. He told the LA Times, you can't take years off and not have it affect your career. And with this time off, he created a clothing line and became a farmer in Uxbridge, Ontario, much like his fictional stepbrother Owen on Tatooine. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more Star Wars content.